good news, my lovely, wonderful people. It's happening. You are a judicial bandit, unfit to be Supreme Court judge. Sanya Bey, La Blast Justice, Chioma. You may be wondering what is going on. Yes, I'll tell you. Some people feel because they were given an opportunity, they owe the bandits, okay? They owe the North or whoever has given them that opportunity. Don't forget that what is happening right now is a clear indication where judges are going against the real judgment in order for them to have favor with those who may have given them that opportunity in those regards. As we speak, you know, Justice Choma's judgment, even without looking at the, 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 the um, you know, the books, okay? Talking about judgment books, talking about law books, you will know that something seriously is wrong. Yes, something seriously is wrong. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. You are a judicial bandit, unfit to be a Supreme Court judge. Sani Abe Lamblas Justice Chioma. Nigerian judiciary in recent times come under fierce attack over what many regards as a cheapening out of democratic process by many judges of the appeal courts, Supreme Courts, and other lower courts. Many of them cited an example with a player to state current situation where the duly elected lawmakers were sacked from office because of wrong judgment of judges of the appeal courts. The wrong pre precedence of the judiciary system is making it appear to be a constitutional condom that the masses have confidence in the that the masses have no confidence in the judiciary system at all. During a world press conference, a former senator who have represented Adamawa North Sanitaria District, Mr. Mr. Isiak Abe Cliff said the judiciary system is putting the country in a tight corner where common people are no longer safe. Senator Abolam blasted Justice Chioma Wonsu Ehema during the press conference regarding her as worse than bandits operating as kidnappers. Abe said Wonsu is a judiciary bandit who is not fit or qualified to become a judge in Nigerian judiciary system and talks more talk more of becoming a Supreme Court judge. The former senator peti petitioned President Bola Metinubu about how Wonsu is corrupt and has berated the image and has destroyed the image of the judiciary with the cash and carry judgment she passed against him. According to him, he won his election with over 11,000 votes because Chioma was corrupt, gave a pervert judgment. We have kept quiet for a long and seen, and seen some for a long time and seen some judiciary bandit become threats to Nigeria democracy. It is time to hold them liable. Why are judges above the law? Do you know how to be good in the books of the judge? Do they know what good is or when they pervert justice? What is done when something is noticed? What system are put in place to ensure that they face the judgment and they face it if they have done anything wrong? This is exactly what is going on and every single person can see. We need to rise up and ensure that there is a system in place to ensure that nobody takes over Nigeria, whether a judge or, or not. Nobody takes advantage of this nation. Justice Chioma has been bribed and this must be investigated. So this is what is happening right now. Um, People are really, really uncomfortable mm -hmm. with the judgments that have been going on and have continued to speak, saying, you know, these people, these judges who are supposed to be, you know, not who are supposed to be non-partial, 
have turned you know the, the judiciary into their you know their money making machine so most of them you know are being are corrupt most of them you know are bribed and a lot of things is happening and every single person is wondering you know what the next line of action is so you can see, you know, that these things are becoming more than you can imagine. So, um, I mean, uh, people who want their, their, their cases are being, you know, are being seen as uh, people who did not uh, win. And everybody is wa wondering, you know, where we are headed. You know, uh, INEC will call results. Some persons will come and they will say, you know, you did not win that election. Uh, it was this person that won that election. It was this person that won that election. And um, nothing is being done to really, you know, uh, to save those moments and to ensure that the truth is dispensed. You know, uh, our judiciary system, INEC and what of you have really destroyed this nation in no small way. And to be quite candid and honest, have you thought about what is going on? What is the penalty if judges are found to be corrupt and has mismanaged judgment? Is there really, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer. Is there, is there something in place that can be done? Justice Oluka Yode and all the Supreme Court judges out there, because we know that this matter is going all over the world. What is the penalty if it's found that a judge was corrupt or something has been done to manipulate judgment? What can be done? You know, what can be done? What must be done to serve and to save the situation? So it is a very serious one, and we don't want things to continue in that vein, in that way. We want Nigerians to truly have, you know, the breath of fresh air and to be able to know what to do because our system has become so porous. We all cannot begin to imagine, okay, how bad things have gone. We all cannot begin to, you know, we all cannot begin to, you know, lie. You know, we all cannot begin to lie. Please don't forget, it is wrong when we, you know, when justice is perfect and um, nobody's speaking out to ensure that truth is manifested. You know, um, we, we, just, we just have to make sure that, you know, the right things are done. At the end of the day, Nigerians are the ones in the, in the, in the, in the mix and um, we must get people sorted and safe. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Okay? God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day. And from us, is bye for now. Okay? Bye-bye.